Your Honor, I'm sorry. I, I've made such a farce of this whole thing. I, no one has more respect for the law than I do. I know you have more important things to do. I, I didn't want to bother. I thought it was simple, that's all. I'd, I'd brought Aunt Beverly's papers down here to show you about the deductions. But I see that's, that's not what it's about. He said that Beverly Payne's mission was not charity, but politics. Your Honor, she doesn't care whether people agree with her or not. People are hungry, so she helps them, that's all. And is she going to be taxed for that? Well, I mean, in a way, aren't deductions supposed to encourage people to, to look after each other so the government won't have to? Well, I just don't think she should be taxed for trying to help people. That's all. Mrs. Payne, your attitude and I present a flagrant violation of our tax laws. For example, Code Section 7201, 7203, invasion of taxes, uh, failure to keep records and supply information, concealing property subject to levy, ignoring summons, and most seriously, the forcible interference with the administration of our tax laws. It is therefore the considered decision of this court that the position of the Internal Revenue Service is upheld and sustained. The court is now adjourned. Not adjourned. You call this justice? Pompous nincompoop. This is just a madness. Bailiff, bailiff. You call yourselves a court? Well, you're not. You're nothing. Where is conscience? Where is justice? Where, Where is anything that will help us? <laughs> Hurry. Oh, she's all right. She's all right. Oh, but oh, so much I didn't tell you. No, it's not oh. over. You have much to love you, but... Yes, all right. Oh. It's all right, it's all right. Oh. It's oxygen, it's oxygen. What? It's all right. I'm here. about Beverly Payne, Johnson, sincerely. I am. Isn't killing her enough for you people? Look, you blame us, I know. But it's not our fault, Johnson. And Beverly Payne frustrated the system. So the system fought back with every... 
look, Johnson, people who ram their heads against a wall eventually die. Privilege of freedom, I guess. This is a privilege of freedom, huh? Don't be stupid. People like Beverly Payne destroy themselves. I came here to offer you a compromise. Compromise? This is my property! This property was illegally transferred in anticipation of death. Look, either way belongs to us. You're wrong. You are wrong! What do you think this country is about, Johnson? It's about housing, education, defense, welfare, Medicare, highways, social security. It's about taxes, Johnson. She was... She was a fool. Leave. Leave. Johnson, don't... Now! Well, then you're the fool, Johnson. I'm the United States Treasury. What are you? You can't beat the United States government, Johnson. Not in a million years. The taxes will be paid. We get it one way, we get it another. But we will get it. Oh, by the way, Johnson, you're trespassing here. Uh, look, that, that the main thing I want to avoid is this whole Beverly Payne business, her collapse in the courtroom. All uh, your people promised me you'd let that alone. Mm-hmm. Huh? Okay, I have some supplementary materials here. Okay, this is a list of the uh, recommended questions that'll bring out the essential mm -hmm. points that I want to hit. But these are of particular importance. Yes, right here. Okay. Oh, The so-called power of the IRS is necessary to ensure collections. Some people insist on fighting against the system, but they only destroy themselves. Never have we been in more complete control of tax affairs than we are now. And we intend to keep moving in that direction. We still have a few small problems. Turn around here, officer. Right here, sir. I declare war on the Internal Revenue Service of the United States. <laughs> 